Hello and welcome. Let's talk about cellulitis. So, what does it mean by cellulitis? Cellulitis is the non-separative invasive infection of tissues which is usually related to the point of injury. What are the causative agent? It can be caused by normal skin flora or by exogenous bacteria and often occurs where the skin has previously been broken. Streptococcus, Streptococcus pyogenes, Staphylococcus aureus and Clostridium perfringens are the causative agents. What are the risk factors? The risk factors are the elderly and those with weakened immune systems, diabetes mellitus, immunosuppressive drugs, HIV, lymphadenoma, and chronic venous insufficiency and varicosveins, which are the risk factors for cellulitis. Sites. It can occur in any part of the body, but most, but most commonly, leg, face and orbit, pelvic region, perinephric area, pharyngeal area, hand and breast. Dangerous area. This includes face, orbit, neck and submandibular region and hand. What is the portal of entry? The portal of entry is where the skin has previously been broken, like cracks in the skin, cuts, blisters, bones, insect bites, surgical wounds and sites of intravenous catheter insertion. So what are the clinical features? These include symptoms which are pain, constant in nature, but if there is an abscess formed, which is, the pain is throbbing. There is fever, mullage, lachis, lassitude, and loss of appetite. And on examination, the patient is toxic. The infected affected area is swollen, hot, indurated, and tender with no definite margin. In cell, it is firm, and later it may become soft. The fluctuation may be positive after an abscess is formed. There may be cutaneous vesicles, and in severe cases, there may be gangrene. Lymphangitis and lymphadenitis can be seen. Investigations Blood shows neutrophilic leukocytosis, culture and sensitivity of pus can be done, the liver function test can be done, blood urea and serum creatinine, these are done in case of severe case, blood sugar urine for a ketone body is glycosylated hemoglobin estimation. Now treatment, there is conservative treatment and there is operative treatment. Conservative treatment includes bed rest, elevation of the affected part to reduce edema, diabetes treatment, antibiotics can be given. And if there is no any improvement within 48 hours, then incision and drainage can be done. Now, operative treatment. Operative treatment is done when abscess is formed. There is incision and drainage of the pus with deprivation of the dead tissue. Now, Ludwig's angina. It is the cellulitis affecting the front of the neck. The clinical features are fever with chills and rigor, swelling in the submandibular region, edema of the mouth, putrid halitosis, and dysphagia. Investigations for Ludwig's angina, blood, total count and differential count of WBC, blood culture and blood sugar can be done to see diabetes mellitus. The treatment of Ludwig's angina is parental antibiotics, amoxicillin or serofoxane with metronidazole and drainage of the abscess can be done. End of the topic.